ever wondered why some companies leap to greatness while others remain just good? Today, we're diving into the book Good to Great by Jim Collins, a treasure trove that explores this very question. This book dissects the characteristics that separate the greats from the merely good, offering insights into what it takes to achieve long-term business success. This video will highlight the key principles discussed in the book, principles that have set apart truly exceptional companies. Join us on this journey as we dissect the secrets of long-term business success. What kind of leadership propels a company to greatness? This question ushers us into the principle of level five leadership. Picture those leaders who, with a quiet confidence, steer their companies towards success. They're not on magazine covers, nor are they the loudest voices in the boardroom. Yet, they are the driving force behind their company's ascent. These leaders embody a paradoxical mix of personal humility and professional will. They are modest, shunning public adoration, yet they are unyielding in their commitment to their company's success. Their focus isn't on their personal legacy, but rather on building something great that lasts beyond their tenure. They are ambitious, but their ambition is first and foremost for the cause, for the company's mission, not for themselves. So, it's not the charismatic figure at the helm that defines a company's greatness. Instead, it's the leader who combines humility with unwavering determination. Leadership, it seems, is not about a charismatic figure at the top, but about the right blend of personal humility and professional will. What is your company truly passionate about? What can it be the best in the world at? And what drives its economic engine? This is the heart of the hedgehog concept, a key principle in the journey from good to great. The hedgehog concept is named after the humble hedgehog, a creature that knows one big thing and sticks to it. In a world of foxes who know many small things and constantly shift strategies, the hedgehog prevails by focusing on its simple, unchanging approach. In business terms, the hedgehog concept asks companies to hone in on their core competencies, their deepest passions and the key drivers of their economic engines. It's about stripping away the noise and distractions to focus on what truly matters. So ask yourself, what is your company's hedgehog concept? What is the one big thing that you are truly passionate about that you can be the best at and that drives your economic engine. Remember, the path to greatness lies in simplicity and focus. How important is discipline in achieving greatness? Let's dive into the culture of discipline. This concept in essence is a triad, disciplined people, disciplined thought and disciplined action. It's not about regimentation or stifling creativity, but rather about empowering individuals within a clear and consistent framework. Disciplined people are those who are self-motivated, dedicated, and willing to put the company's interests ahead of their own. They are the ones who drive the company forward, even when the going gets tough. Disciplined thought is about confronting the brutal facts of reality, yet maintaining an unwavering faith in the end game. It's about having the courage to make tough decisions and the humility to admit when you're wrong. Disciplined action is about doing what must be done when it needs to be done, whether you feel like it or not. It's about consistency, persistence, and unwavering commitment to the goal. Discipline, it turns out, is not a constraint, but a pathway to creativity and greatness. Why do some companies fail while others succeed in the long run? This question brings us to the concept of the flywheel and the doom loop. Imagine a massive, heavy flywheel. It's a huge metal disc mounted horizontally on an axle. It's about 100 feet in diameter, two feet thick, and it weighs about 25 tons. Now, your task is to get that flywheel rotating on the axle as fast and as long as possible. Pushing with great effort, you get the flywheel to inch forward. You keep pushing, and the flywheel begins to move a bit faster. It takes a lot of work, but at last it's up to speed and the momentum is working in your favor. This is the flywheel concept. It illustrates the momentum that great companies build over time 
through consistent effort and continuous improvement. On the other hand, the doom loop is a pitfall that companies often fall into. They seek quick fixes, dramatic results and radical transformations. But these actions often lead to confusion, lack of direction and ultimately to failure. The doom loop signifies the vicious cycle of inconsistency and the absence of a clear unifying vision. In business as in life, there are no quick fixes or shortcuts to long-term success. It's about making the right decisions, persistently pushing the flywheel and avoiding the temptation of the doom loop. Success is not a single monumental event, but a slow and steady process of continuous improvement and persistent effort.